Welcome back guys. This episode is full of ocean adventures with our island family. We are taking you free diving on a vertical wreck. We catch and cook our lunch on a remote tropical island and so much more. Let's get into it. Woo! Who's ready for a fun day? Me. That's not very excited. Who's ready for a fun day? Yay! Do you guys know where we're going? Yeah. Where? Going to the beach. <laughs> no, to the beach. <laughs> Slightly different beach to usual. You ready? You've never been through going, here. Um, well, you have, but you're a baby. We're going under the trees. Under the trees? Yeah. All right, let's check it out. So this was actually a little waterway that was dynamited out by the New Zealand Army back, can't really tell you when, somewhere after World War II, um, to provide access to the open ocean right here, because if you don't exit here, you have to go like another 10 or 8 or 10 miles out before you can safely cross across the barrier chain. And if you go to Munda or Giza or any of these other island groups, that just cuts a massive um, portion off the journey. And it's a lot safer at, at, like, exiting through here than out through those rougher sections. So. Looks yeah. like they've cleaned it up a bit, hey? Yeah, they have. It used to completely overgrown, was overgrown and like touched, the canopy touched on both sides. Travelling through this passage brings us a feeling of nostalgia for all the times that we've come through here together. Now we are sharing it with our kids and they are just old enough to learn and begin to understand the significance of a place like this. A passageway that has been the saviour for many ocean travellers in the past. A gateway to the open ocean for those travelling out on a big adventure. I know that we'll look back on this day and recall just how lucky we are to share a place like this with our family. It actually didn't take a lot for us to make this adventure happen. And in the moment, we were really just taking it all in. But sharing it with you guys makes us see quite clearly that this home of ours what we have to share of the Morovo Lagoon and beyond is something truly remarkable. We hope you feel it too. You see this section here? And that used to be just like these cliffs here. But the waves come in and they crash so hard, they bang, 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 bang. Over thousands of years, they cut a little wave cut platform. So the rock's gonna be on top of our head like a roof. So cool. Isn't that cool? Should we go have a look? Do you and Philly just want to sit up on the front there while we go through so you can have a really good look? Because you need to be able to look up. Okay, you go sit up there with Mary. So you can see, see the platform. Yeah, you can see the platform. Yeah. All the way up. There's an incredible sinkhole dive here under the cliffs that takes divers through a tunnel and out to the open ocean. We didn't have time for it today, but leave a comment below if you'd like us to dive it for you sometime for another video. Camera's going away now. We've got to go to the big wide open ocean. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> often asked how we achieve such adventures with the kids and honestly extra hands do help a lot. Success is packing a lot of snacks, allowing naps to happen whenever, wherever and going with the flow because you just never know what's going to happen.
our first glance at the vertical shipwreck, which we will dive on later in this episode. Don't miss it, as this is a very unique wreck dive. With the bow of this sunken fishing boat so shallow, even the kids get a really good look at it. That's the sunken tire boat. Arlo, that's an underwater tyre boat. Come over this side, bud. Arlo, come over here, mate. Can it move underwater? No, it's, it crashed. <laughs> no, it it's a shipwreck. See? That's the front of the boat, and that's where the people normally are driving the boat. This is the front. So when we're finished at the beach, we'll bring it out for a swim, and you can see the boat underwater. A tyre boat. How crazy is that? It's a shipwreck, see? Arlo. It's a shipwreck. Ready, jump. Hey. What fish would you like for lunch? Mamula. Mamula? I want the blue fish. A blue mamula? Yes. Yeah. I have a tiny one. one. Okay, Miri, what's your order? I have a Pangle. Yeah. Okay. I All have right. a toss. Can you give me a ready, set, go? Ready, set, go. Go! <laughs> fishing on a day like today, the goal is to find lunch and get back as soon as possible so that we can cook and spend time with the kids. This dive was pretty hard work actually, so we didn't capture a whole lot on camera. We got here a couple of cold trout. We got some little crayfish. Nice little spread. Nice little spread. So that is very hot. So I'm gonna whack these pots up and get out. It is super hot. We are cooking on the fire. We've got tortillas and some of our pawpaw sauce that we've made the other day. So get it going. We're pretty late for the kids' lunch, but they've already had a snack. So all good. We've got. We missed filming the cooking because that was hot. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, We've got fish, a bit of lime juice on it, some tortillas, and some crazy. Look at that. So what is good. That? Fish, salad, pork chili. Yum. And blow the cars to the salt. You're telling stories. What have you got for your lunch? No, it's a song. Oh, if you song, what's what do you got for lunch? What's in there? Yum. Yum. Yeah. What's in yours, Philly? Yum. <laughs> There's a lot to see, a lot to do. Recently, I've realized I like doing it all with you. 
like you guys at home we get a bit pent up we get sick of doing the same things over and over so coming out to a different reef where we get to free dive on a different reef spearfish and um, to feed the family and just enjoy our time together it really is kind of I guess it's like what is it like <laughs> it's like uh, like a weekend <laughs> yeah. it's kind of like a weekend I don't know um, we need to get off the island too otherwise we go crazy so yeah here we are <laughs> not being crazy <laughs> Time I look at you, you're looking back at me, my dear super remote island in the middle of nowhere, uninhabited island, there is this much rubbish. There are plastic water bottles everywhere. If you're not already using an insulated water bottle, what are you doing? Because it keeps your water cold, people. And if you don't like cold water, I don't think we can be friends. <laughs> um, anyway, there is a lot of rubbish here and not all of it is because of people coming in, camping and visiting the island. A lot of it is washing up in the ocean. And even worse than if it's here on this island means it's in the ocean and it's harming our beautiful wildlife which is already endangered and I could go on forever but leave only footprints people! We're about to actually dive on a shipwreck here. This is a fishing boat, just the same ones that come in and out of the passage all the time at UP. Uh, ran aground here well, 20 odd years ago and they tried to pull it off and filled water at the back and sunk down. It's sitting vertical on the reef. So it's actually one of the very few vertical shipwrecks I know of anywhere in the world. It's really, really unique and a very cool snorkel and scuba dive. Let's go.
We're home. We'll uh, see you in the next one, guys. Yeah.